Welcome to Oregon Voters Digest, the program that brings forward the social and political issues that are important to people living here in the Pacific Northwest. And now, your host, Bruce Broussard. Welcome again to this segment of the Oregon Voters Digest. Folks, it's voting time. This is it. This is it. We're going to vote today. And as I indicated, I've got quite a team here with me today and such to, that uh, based on based on the discussions that I have with these three outstanding gentlemen that I have on the show today, uh, I will be voting accordingly. Now, naturally, I will be going to going home first and dealing with the chairman of the board, my wife, and we're going to have another discussion. <laughs> she's looking at the show, so she's going to kind of give me a feel for, for where where we should be standing. You know what I'm saying? I have no influence of her. She has more influence on me. And tell you know that, don't you? I certainly do. <laughs> well, anyway, folks, uh, on a serious note, um, again, like I said, really, please, you got to get out and vote. Trust me, you got to get out and vote. Don't talk about after the fact and issues and this, that, and the other. you got to get out and vote. And we're, we're fortunate in the state of Oregon, we all get our ballots. We all get our ballots at home. Mm-hmm. And you can just sit down and, and look at them and have discussion with your neighbors and whomever. And folks who are knocking on the door, you can have discussion with them also, too. So, hey, you got to get out to vote. I would suggest very strongly that you don't believe everything you hear and see and read. But the fact of the matter is, uh, here at the Oregon Voters Digest, we're going to give you that opportunity to be- break it down in basic language, basic, very language aspect. That's what I'm doing today. And hey, getting right into this beat, here's the folks that are going to be with us. We got we got Jim Wittenberger here. Jim is right here. Besides besides being a candidate, and he's been a candidate on several different issues, he's a third party kind of candidate aspect of it. And you've seen Jim on the show before, and and uh, he's got the background to understand what this is all about. And we're going to go through all the goodies. And then we got Bob Williams. We got Bob right here. You've seen Bob over here. I mean, a staunch, hard-nosed Democrat. Uh, I mean, he, he. I mean, right up front with it, he's across the board. We've gone back and forth here on the show and the like and whatever. But Bob's been around. He's been very much involved in campaigns, the like, and and uh, just across the board. And he's, he's he really brings a, brings a substance, if you will, to the discussion we're getting ready to have. And then we got Cal Henry. Cal and I. We've been knowing one another for quite some time. In fact, I think we, we really have some way shut up. I think that's the problem. We're both from Texas. It, that's from Texas. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, Cal's been around, and as you know, if, if anybody's got a, if you will, a, a background on politics, it's Cal. He's been very, very much involved. He helped organize the Oregon Assembly of Black Affairs. You've seen his organization. Uh, he's he's held conventions. He's held conventions uh, in the state of Oregon for a number of years. How many years has it been, you know, About. It's been about 40 years. About 40 years, you know, and, and right up front with it, they're, they're a good source, in fact, in making sure that candidates go out and and see and hear and uh, the issues that are that are of major concern, if you will, to who, who black Oregonians and Oregonians across the board. And so it's a good meeting place and aspect of it. So anyway, welcome again. So here, there's the group, folks. And we're going to get there. We got we got we got John Sweeney sitting up in the background, just just, just as a backup aspect of it. He might stick his head in here in the second half hour. He he was here last week. Mm-hmm. John was here last week. And we had quite some discussions, whatever. But anyway, but but bottom line, that's the team, folks, and we're going to discuss this. Well, as we what we're going to be doing this in this hour, well, both hours, well, for this hour, is that we're going to first talk about the national situation, national politics, and then we're going to bring it home in Oregon here, and you're just going to go right down the line. Uh, from uh, senatorial candidate that's statewide to Congress, and then we're going to get right down to the governor's race and maybe some of the key, but a lot of the ballot measures that are on there kind of give you a feel of of uh, what does this mean? Because too often, a lot of time, you you, uh, you, got, you got to understand professionals write this stuff up, and a lot of times you just don't understand it. We don't discuss these things in school anymore. So consequently, it's very difficult sometimes. In all due respect, I have difficulty sometimes reading this stuff. I give it to the wife because she's more articulate than I am. Yeah. Right, Bob? Yes. Yeah, you said, right, Cam? Sure. Jim? I, I know her. She's nice. She's <laughs> smart. Smart. <laughs> smart. So, right. But the bottom line is that um, that's what we're going to try to do, if you will. We're going to try to keep it in a layman's term. And I, these guys all have their own opinion, but that's the good thing about this. The fact of the matter is they've been out there, they know what's going on, and it's very, very important. So, hey, let's jump right up into this, this situation right off the bat. Uh, the, I think the the top thing on the line, I think that was most the thing that was most discussed, was the whole issue of the presidential race, the presidential race. I mean, <laughs> Tim was talking about politics. I mean, we can get into Ebola and on this, that, and the other, and and, uh, and President Obama and how does he fit in this whole campaign aspect of it? Let's talk about the presidential race to to be, if you will. Uh, we've got uh, initially it was it was Hillary Hillary Clinton on the first side of the deal on the Democratic side, 
And the first person that was mentioned in most cases, in fact, at one point in time, Romney was thrown back in the table on the table early on. Uh, Ted Cruz was there in, involved in that whole process also too. Uh, and it, it, so, so there was a lock off in, in the in the Democratic side. It was just Hillary. There was no one else basically. But uh, but anyway, I'm just throwing that on the table. Why don't we start off? With, how about you, Cam? Talk, well, talk well about. The, the key thing since you're talking about the national issue. Yeah. Uh, I think it's important for us to recognize and for the people to recognize we don't truly have a free press anymore. Okay. The press is not really rep reporting the news. They're trying to make the news. Hmm. If you look at all the stuff that is going on with regard to the presidential race or President Obama, you, you find that people don't really know, uh, not getting from the press, okay. going, this <laughs> not getting from the press, the true facts. Mm -hmm. People think that uh, he hasn't done anything. I was, uh, but he's uh, not running uh, for office. Uh, no, 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 no. no. Is he running for office? Well, or according to the Republican Party, he is. Well, well, maybe that's politics, right? Uh, uh, well, that's what the Repu that's what, what the Democrats did with George Bush. The, the, you know, when, no. Yes, they did. They, the, after after his second term, they were trying to say that uh, he was running against Obama the first time. Okay. You know, that's that's standard operating procedure. You're always going to run uh, against uh, the sitting uh, president. Uh, if no, he's unpopular. No, 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 but and Barack Obama's unpopular. No, no, no. No, he's no, unpopular no. to let's, let's the say, other let's side. Let's take one at a time. Not unpopular one at a time. To all okay. of the well, one at a time. I know. <laughs> let's let's, let's right. clarify no. that. No, 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 let's see, clarify that. Yeah. See, <laughs> see, you're listening to what the press is and the corporate interests want people to really get involved in thinking about. They think that they... Well, see, the big issue, the, the, if you want to look at... The big elephant, I hate to use that, but the big thing in the in the background is race. That's what you really see with regard Don't hit to. On the table. Don't hit on okay, the table. I'm sorry. Let, 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 look, we got we got a lot of things to discuss as well. well. You well, give an opinion. I want to go around the table. Well, go you ahead. made your point. You made your point, Bob. <laughs> well, uh, it's this is not a presidential election, so I think the people should have their eyes set on what's going to happen to them if Congress change. Okay. What what are you looking for with your vote? And if it's that you're upset with the way things are going, uh, are you willing to sacrifice other things for what you want? Or are you willing to to just go with the status quo? What is it that you want for your vote? I.e., collecting after election. What about the potential candidates that I sort of think? Who do you think are the, the prime candidates who are going to be looking at running? I have no idea, and I think I'm pretty close to uh, the people that, that, that wants to run. Mm -hmm. And there are some people that's going to come out of the woodworks because everyone, if you listen to all the news reports, the thing they're talking now is not old but new. Mm -hmm. They want new people. They want, you know, and so. But on the D side, it looks like as if it's just a Hillary deal. That's no, it. it's not. It's not? Oh, no. Is there someone else? Who else, uh, who else is up there? It's a young lady, and I can't think of her name. Uh, but they're Warren. Warren. Warren, right. But they're they're pushing her. Mm -hmm. uh, the vice president is not is not is not uh Oh he's thinking about doing uh it. you know, he's still he's his he's name still is still that? out there. Okay. Okay. I mean there's a number of D's that, that are out there. All right. no. Jim, go, yeah. Well I agree. It, it, it's yeah. we have no idea who's gonna be on mm -hmm. the presidential it's ballot. I, I think Hillary Clinton's problem is she's a crappy politician. She's a crappy she she can't she couldn't win the last time she tried. Mm -hmm. And she was a disastrously bad Secretary of State. So she's got no record, no good record to run on. Mm -hmm. Elizabeth Warren is a flaming liberal. I mean, she's really, really, and, and a lion. She's not an Indian. I mean, grief. that's how she got started at Harvard, because she claims she's a Native American. One falsehood after another after another. I, I hope, not, I mean, I'm not a Democrat, <laughs> and I'm not a Republican, but you know, if, if she's the candidate for the Democrat, she's not going to win. Okay. Right. And, and Joe Biden is as dumb as a box of rocks. <laughs> so... But that doesn't mean that they aren't going to, Democrats aren't going to find a good, solid candidate. I mean, Barack Obama was an outstanding candidate. Mm -hmm. Terrible president, but an outstanding candidate. Okay. Now, well, you know, uh, we, we did mention that. Let's talk a little bit about this business about Obama. He's not running for, for president. No, but, but, but the fact of the matter, his name is constantly being used, in, in, i.e., along that line. So let's talk about that. Let's go around the room again. Okay, what do you think? No. <laughs> My, my whole point, I... Uh, Relax, yeah. I, well, I, well, <laughs> see, since this is not a presidential race, see, I think that black Americans need to look at, need to look at what is going on at the present time. 
Now, I, I agree we got some time to work on this right, issue right. of the presidential race. We've got a couple more years. To go. And, and see, to spend our time here dealing with this. Okay. All right. Well, we'll, we'll have another session. Right. Be, That's what we'll do. We'll talk about that piece. No problem. Because I think that when you when you spend the time that you won't get to the other issues that are happening mm -hmm. here. You, we got to look at the local races as they're going to impact what is really going on. But the only reason why I brought the issue up is the fact that many candidates who are basically running for the Senate are running for Congress, are using the presidential, uh, future well, well, presidential. The Republicans are running against Barack Obama. That's right. That's right. And the that's Democrats right. are running from Barack exactly. Obama. Yeah, exactly. what, 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 Point the, blank. Well, this is why I Talk said. About that. Yeah, this this right. is why I said that it's it is the news that a news reporters are making uh, are making news by getting people to think about that. Mm -hmm. See that they didn't even like the idea that this uh, 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 Jack Krugman, I guess is his name, said that President Obama is. Don't hear him, team. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm not I'm sorry. I'm not. Sometimes you have to. That's okay. I, I know you got to okay. get your point across. <laughs> <laughs> that President Obama is probably the most significant president of the United States in the last in, 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 in the last fifty years, yeah. yep. because he has yeah. made under his tutelage. There's been some major changes that benefited people. Okay. But the people don't understand that. But, that, but, but understand what I'm saying. Don't get me wrong. Uh, no, I, I hear what you're saying. No, That's I, a legacy. We can deal with it another no, one. No, no, no. I'm but, talking about the elections today. Okay. The no, no, but, but, you, but his name is having but, on the election what, and the results of the election. What, what, the, but the point, you got to, the point you have to realize okay. is that why are these folks, why the Democrats don't want to uh, uh, give out, talk about their, their, what they have done and why the Republicans want to blame him for what's done and why the press is not reporting the news. My whole point to you is that the American people are not getting the news. They're reporting. not getting the news. Okay. They're not getting the news, Bob. Are they getting okay. the news or not? I'm going to be calm with this one. <laughs> All of the positive things that President Obama has done under his, under his, under his time in office, during his time in office, have not been reported in a favorable manner. And here's the thing. This is this the election is not about what is going what is going on now. It's about what's going to happen in the future. All of this is to predict is so that we make sure that don't another young black male or female stick their head out of that hole and try to hold this office that they are not supposed to have. That's what this is all about. And we need to be smart enough to see this, you know, and right now, and the other part of this is when you have both sides, all three sides of the aisle are working against you, i.e., you... Uh, you said three sides. Yeah. Give me three sides. Uh, the Democrats, the Republicans, and those so-called independents who are really nothing but closet in, uh, Republicans. You know, they're closed that way, and they, but they, and you watch them every time they get in, they move to the Republican side of the aisle with their votes, 99% of them. So let's, let's call it, let's call it what it is. Okay. And so the tr that's the truth of the matter. And now everybody is want to talk about Obama's, uh, uh, what, what has he done wrong? Uh, you know, the, the stock market. We were in yeah, the toilet wanted. when he came like I said, in. I want to stay with the election. Yeah, I'm just going to, just two items. Impact. The stock market and jobs. Okay. Okay. And now everybody, but no, no, that's not enough. He hasn't done what? He hasn't went to war? You know, your son and daughter is home safely, but he, and he didn't go to war. Okay. You know, it's ridiculous, and we need to call it what it is. Jim. Worst president in the history of the United States. Okay. George Bush. No, that, that's, the Affordable that's, Care Act ha has been slowly been implemented, and it, the more it's implemented, the worse it is for health insurance and for health care. It's going to get worse and worse. It's only it's only partly implemented now. It's going to get worse and worse. And frankly, I don't understand why on earth he allowed anybody to fly from Liberia or any of the Western African nations with, with Ebola to the United States. Now we have Ebola in the United States. That is incomprehensible. Then he sends uh, military over there for goodness only knows what reason so that they can come back to the United States with Ebola. The man, I, I, it just doesn't, it, it boggles the imagination why he's done what he's doing unless he hates the United States. And I think that's a fair, an argument can be made the man does hate the United States. Okay. 
He uh, certainly doesn't believe that we should be the preeminent nation in the world and, and we should be taken down as a, a you know, peg or two. And he certainly, I think he's been very successful in that. I agree he's been an effective president, but not for good, for bad. Okay. Now, as you, as you can see, as you can see, that discussion is happening now. When we've got an election, and it, ha it will have an impact on the outcome of the election from a national perspective. Point blank. These, these are the kinds of discussions that are being happening right now. We agree. I'm sure we all agree on that piece. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. All right. Now, you know, Jim brought up a point about the Ebola aspect of it. Uh, would you like to respond about that piece? What do you think? You well, made, you made a point. What do, you, what do you think, Bob? Well, you know, one of the things you, you know, you get these people that want to be the police of the world, i.e., they're willing to send your your your, your young sons and daughters to war, uh, for gas and oil, but here's a medical crisis, and at some point we have to do something to stop it. Now, if you don't stop it, it's going to travel. It don't care about race, creed, or color. It will attack you. So what, do he, what did he do? He said, Let's, our people are going over there. Our medical and, and uh, our doctors and nurses are going over there to combat this. Where are they going to go? Are you trying to tell me, send them someplace else? They can't come home? No. And we showed something when this crisis took, took effect and it came to the United States. We, we can stop it. We, the medical things that we had in our, in our closet worked. But tell me this, why didn't the other foreign nations join the effort, if you will, to stop in this situation? That's a good question. Why didn't we? I'm just asking. I mean, there are other foreign countries but, over there but he did in, ask, in Africa. But he did ask them. He tried to put that together, but they yeah. didn't respond. Why, why didn't he? It's, for me... Personally, it's the same when a black when when black people are having a problem, white people don't show up. Okay, hey, Cal, is that the issue? It is part of the issue. Mm -hmm. Talk about it. <laughs> see, see, when 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 other nations see that we have a U.S. Congress that's willing and willing to try to demonize this president mm -hmm. in the wrong fashion, it makes it easy for them to make a tough. A, a, a tough issue out of almost every issue. Now, many of these folks want to pretend they are for a lot of things. And they are willing to go out and pretend that they are willing to stand for right. When I see, when, when I see the number of people who are willing to give up their oath of office to say no to things that mean something to the American people. We had a lot of Republicans willing to get up and do that aspect of it. And, and at the same time, nobody wanted to report that. And then we had a presidential candidate who's willing to say that he was going to do everything to destroy the economy of this country. At the time uh, when the president was first uh, uh, being in, uh, when, when the first uh, elected. I know. That's all right. Okay. That's when okay. He was first, okay. No when, problem. When he was being inaugurated, mm -hmm. you had 14 people of the Republican Party mm -hmm. willing to go forth and say they're going to do all they can to, dist uh, to def uh, defeat the economy to stop President Obama. Okay, we started. Not the we economy, start. his policies. No, no, no. Okay. Yes, no, no. You go back and look at that no. when they go were in He didn't have the policies that you were talking about. <laughs> we're talking about at the time that when. The first, the first inauguration, the night of the inauguration, you and I didn't know what his policies were going we to be. We knew what his campaign promises were. Well, the first one was, I want to fundamentally change the United States. Well, how can you fundamentally change the United States if the United States is good? Is In other good? words, he, What's he good hates the United States. I'm telling you, he's hated the Constitution, no, no. You, and he are, hates are, the United are you, States. Are you going to tell me that I hate it, and I, I'll put my life on the line for this country as a military person? No. Do, you, do, I, do you have a right to, to say something that's wrong with it? Yes, of course. Of course. Then, then, then you, you but what saying, does fundamental change mean? Well, whatever you want it to mean. Well, it means the Affordable Care Act, for one thing. Well, the Affordable Care Act. Oh. What's wrong with, okay. the, well, look, with look, look, giving wait, wait. people something well, that they need, okay. i.e., we had so many people that, was, that had no medical coverage, period, and the Affordable Care Act helped them. 
Uh, you know, the, the thing that bothers me is that certain people in this country think that it's their way or no way, and the only way that things can change is if they say so. And, they, and we, the people, need to stand up and say, that's not so. Now, on that particular point, is the Affordable Care Act a part of the campaign? Yes, absolutely. Talk about it. Well, it's affecting the, it's affecting the economy. It's affecting... <laughs> It's effect, for good or ill, it's affecting the, the economy in a big way. And what it basically was is a nationalization of the health care system. It's not just insurance. It's the, because of Obamacare or Affordable Care Act, uh, the way medicine is practiced is, is changing radically. And it's, it's a top-down system. It's so, so funny. When, when you talk about economics, the Democrats are always complaining about trickle-down economics. Well, we've got trickle-down health care now, where the, the federal people are saying what to do and how to do it. And, uh, you know, death panels is a definite part of it. There are, there are going to be many decisions made about it. we're not going to save people. In fact, Barack Obama, during, I believe, it was the first campaign, he was asked, what about my grandmother who's 98 years old and she needs uh, an operation? And he basically said, well, give her some aspirin, you know, let her, you know. No, no, he did no, not say, say that. that. And, that's the, and that's the trivia that is being spouted out there that people are listening to and without researching it, you'll believe that crap. So that's and what that's his what advisors what say. Crap. That's what his advisors say. They, 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 oh, come on. It's, no, crap. it's true. They, they, they say you can't spend all this money on old people and, and people that are they're not oh, going to recover just let them die do you That's, think i would yes. accept that i'm an old person you know i'm pushing 70 and so I know that's not true. I've sat at the table with some of these people that are that that's, that are fighting for health care, and that's not true. But then there's been, so but, let's but cancel the point, that. But the point I want to throw in is that now Cal did bring up the point from the standpoint is media actually throwing out the facts. Well, wait a minute. Important. No, let's not. Let's not. The, the Affordable Care Act it is the Veterans Administration medical care for veterans, right. and we know because the the, the media has revealed. P veterans have been dying for yeah. lack of care. Yeah. That's been happening. That's that's the federal uh, government health care system for veterans has been failing veterans left and right. And that's Obama's fault. No, he he started that. No, he put that into practice. No, you don't talk about what happened on Bush's watch because that's when it began. But we don't want to talk about. Oh, George it was before Bush. George Bush. That's, there you go. It was, it was, I, I risk my the case. The Veterans Administration has never taken care of veterans the way it should in terms I of medical agree. care. And that's been Democrats and Republicans for... Because but you want to lay it at Obama's okay. foot. It's not just the veterans, though. It's also Indians. You see how, how uh, Native Americans are treated at their health care facilities, too. They are mistreated by... And the, that's Obama's fault. No, it's but that's the federal you all government. But that's the way you present it. Okay. No, the it's federal the federal government. government. is not Barack see, the, Obama. The, the, the You're right. I, I it guess isn't. The point I'm making, gentlemen, is it's fair. It's fair. To the viewing audience, uh, these are the kind of discussions that are being held right now, no, i.e. because of right. the, uh, during the campaign. And that's a fact aspect of it. Let me throw another one on the table real quick. We got, we got to get going here. We got another, about another eight minutes before we get to take another break. What about the whole issue of immigration, the comprehensive immigration? Now, let, let's, let's talk a little bit about that piece. The impact that it has on the, 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 the races that we're having. We know talk immunity about. is coming. He, Barack Obama is going to say, come on in legally by executive order, and it's, it, that's going to be completely illegal. The Congress is the, the, the uh, branch that determines immigration law, and Obama doesn't care what the laws are. He's going to invite people in diseased or not diseased. And we've that had a whole bunch of young kids come into the United States, disseminated throughout, throughout the United States with diseases, and now uh, people, uh, U.S. citizens are dying uh, As a result. Because of, of that dissemination of, of uh, third world diseases into our country. So what do we do about that? Do we say anything to Mexico about that stuff at all? Anybody for that matter? What, well, what, do, you think? what do you think, Cal? Well, well, see, it's hard to say something to another country when you find out why these individuals were in here in the first place. Now, when I grew up in Texas. When I grew up in Texas, I only knew of two kinds of people in this country. you either black or white. Then all of a sudden... When, when the blacks began to move during the civil rights movement a little bit more, then you find a lot of the farmers and others want to bring in people who were not citizens of the country. They came in and they was put in, and they, that's where this undocumented and uh, illegal alien, all this issue, saw this. But they did have a program, you know, they had the Pacific program. You know, no, they, no, no, but at the, at the beginning they didn't have it. 
They didn't have it? No. I thought they did for quite some time. It was Eisenhower. It was oh, yeah. but, the, but the whole point of it is okay, that you know. what, what, what we're seeing happening now is that we want to lay all this at the feet of Obama. Mm -hmm. And I think that the problem, you, we're making a big mistake as a people, understand. And I, I, I think the American people are going to show uh, uh, the news media that they may not be right at this, uh, uh, on November the 4th. And, and they did it uh, the, during the last presidential race. Everybody had, this, had it all earmarked out. But see, all those issues affect all the people. There's no question. I agree with what President Obama said. His name is not on the ballot, but the issues are. The people who want to change things want to do all that stuff. They want to stop voting. They want to do a lot of other things in, in the society that's affecting the people. But if, you don't, if the people don't get the information, now look what happened to newspapers now. Newspapers are going by the wayside to a large degree. They don't give them the in-depth uh, 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 evaluation that need to take place. See, as long as we uh, react to things in a way that we don't control them, it's going to always happen that well, way. Well, I'm going to throw another very important piece in. What about our education system? Think Wait a minute, can children. I answer something? What about can our I say something on the immigration piece? Real quick. Oh, yes. Go right. Yeah. Go on, on the immigration piece, it's a real simple process. Mm -hmm. We have laws on the books. Follow them. That's right. Plain and simple. And I agree with that, okay. too. That's I agree all. with that. Okay. Well, in fact, John Sweeney and I, we talked about that last time. Around. I agree with that. that. It's laws on the books. And, should, and for, but for whatever reason, we're not we're not enforcing the law. Right. Even in this administration. I agree. No, and, and but but what <laughs> right? You, right right what do you have is that Past you have practice. you have the media deciding what is important and what's right and whether you did it right. You know, uh, we're living through past practice. Republicans want to take us back to the age uh, where everything was simple. You didn't have a computer, you had a pen. Well, that was simple. You know, uh, today, things move in lightning speed. And everybody has to keep up or catch up. And that's, and that's just the way of the world. You know, things, uh, we have to understand that we can't continue to live in the past. You know, the past we should learn from and make sure that our future is better. And this is not what we have in our political arena today. The media, Jim, what's up? Well, it's failing. Uh, I think the point, the, uh, the New York Times just result, it gave out results of its financial condition. It's, it's going down quickly. Mm -hmm. They had to sell their building to keep afloat. I think it's just a matter of time before the New York Times goes down, and hallelujah for that. The Oregonians a crappy newspaper. You know, I, I get home delivery, but I don't get it on uh, uh, Monday, Tuesday, or Thursdays. Yeah, yeah, that, that's insanity. And the makeup. Look at the makeup. You, well, you, you're reading one section, you got to go to another section. You know, where, well, well the Chicago Man. Sometimes did this when I was a mm -hmm. child, and I, I can live with this. It's, I mean, I, you I know, right. But, you know, the, the sad thing about the Oregonian is the Wednesday edition, they said, hey, elections on November 3rd. Be sure to get your ballots in. Yeah, November 3rd. <laughs> and when I, when, I, when I sent it to the, the uh, you know, hey, you made a mistake. Oh, sorry. What? Yes, that's what they said. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Well, and I don't want to use a quote, quote from, a, from one of Bob's buddies, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 Lars Larson. He says, cause it the fish wrapper, right? And that was, that yeah. was <laughs> <laughs> it causes the fish wrap, right? And, and okay. see, in our education system, yeah. it's, not, like, yeah. it, it's not helping the next generation understand yeah. some yeah. issues, that's, too. That's very important. And, and it, see, we're not teaching the history to our children uh, uh, that's in very to, to, to make it a piece. Why aren't we doing that? Why, why, what's, the, what's the problem? We're grown ups, you know what I'm saying? What's, what's the problem? G give, well, me, give me, give me well, a, The big problem, if they know something, then they, the people who are trying to control them came, came manipulate and control them. And see, my whole point of it is when people learn how to do things and how to see how to get things done mm. and understand what I call two P's, politics and process. Mm. There's no vocab ed now anymore in the, in the school system. I mean, Well, you know, the funny thing about the history, uh, I think, is, is, is interesting because the panel's here. The history of the Democratic Party is one of racial, uh, they're the ones that have been imposing racism. Jim Crow laws, Democratic Party. 
uh, the war, uh, you know, the Civil War, that was the, what ultimately became the Democrats wanted wanted to continue race or slavery, and they fought uh, the efforts to abolish slavery, and it hasn't changed. For some reason, there was a there was a change when when the Franklin Roosevelt reached out to, to uh, African Americans in this country, and 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 the, and from that point on, the Democrat Party has has owned the African uh, American vote. But what have they given the African American? They've given them poverty and and, and uh, minimum wage. The minimum wage was designed to keep African Americans from getting jobs, hmm, and, and that's still the case. It, it's designed, and and that's what is being implemented for. I can't believe that a Barack Obama, of course. But you see the thing: he didn't, he wasn't raised here. He was raised in Indonesia, and then when he moved to Hawaii, he was raised by a communist. You know, it, it had communist influence. <laughs> Okay. The, the, that poet from Chicago was right. a, was a commie. He was definitely a part of the the uh, the, the milieu. Yeah. yeah. See this. Okay. Is, wait, 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 wait. On education. That, no, this is good. We, no, no, we got We got a break. We got to take a break. But we may we may start off on this next end. Hey, we'll be right back. Stay with us. <laughs> Pull out your ballots. We're gonna be voting here today. You are watching Oregon Voters Digest. This program can be seen again on these channels on these dates and times. Tell a friend. We had a, we had a, a we, we actually have three shows. We got we got one after during the break. But I tell you, I told these guys to hold on for a minute. But look here, folks. I tell you what, we're gonna just jump right into Oregon now. We've done a, we spent quite a bit of time on the national issue aspect of it, and 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 uh, between these three guys, we've solved the problem. Right? <laughs> we've solved the problem. We've we've so, been highlighted so, the problem. So, so let's get down to these ballot measures aspect. Of it. We got some paper. And by the way, this is this kind of stuff that I've been getting in the mail. I get all kinds of stuff in the mail. I got them both in my. Well, it's in our household, we have both. You know, we got a D's and an R, so I get all all the material here aspect of it. Let's talk a little bit about um, uh, what what are you talking about? What are you talking about now? What are you talking about? Moon, Moon, don't cover the mic. Hey, Tom is part of a third party. He's out there. He's, he's doing his thing. <laughs> we got to make sure we get all these guys. He didn't want you to cover the mic. Is that what it was? Yeah. Is that what it was? Sure. But you did that. Yeah. What? <laughs> okay, let's get into the ballot measures, okay? Yep. Okay, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right off the bat. Okay, let's start at the bottom here. Uh, measure 92 requires food manufacturers, retailers to label genetically engineered foods as such state citizens may enforce. I know I'm going to be the only one. No, wait. Well, Bob, I'm going to start with you. 92. <laughs> Are you for it or against it? I'm for it. Okay. Why? I mean, real quick. Because it's simple. I want to know what's in the package. Okay, good. All right, that's one. I yeah. voted against it because I don't want the government telling people what to say. Okay, that's good. I, I'm, yeah. I'm for it. You're for it? Yeah. Okay, mine, mine is this. We're already eating all generic food. The only problem I have with, with this particular the deal, this aspect of it, is still going to be written the same way. And a lot of stuff I don't understand. And I guess the point that, that, that gets me about that piece is that many people have allergies, if you will. Yeah. And many people just can't eat certain this, this, that, and the other. And you well, don't understand the language. If you Where's go to, the language? Where's I went to Costco yesterday, and they had signs, no GMO. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the private market is, is, is going to take care of it if yeah. it's allowed to. Yeah, okay. And so you go to Costco, if you don't want to get GMO food, they've got signs, no GMO. Or, or if they don't say anything, you can assume that there's GMO. But you know, in all due respect, though, uh, everything is GMO. I mean, when it rains, the, the, the stuff in the air comes down in the ground. If you're talking about you think you got organic food, you're not eating organic food. Everybody's eating GMO, bottom line. 
So uh, I would suggest as long as we continue to pollute no, the air. I, I, I hear what you're saying. All I'm saying is that maybe this might be a way of saying that we'll come up with an amendment that says, hey, uh, manufacturers or whatever, at least let the people know. So that you, if you've got any allergies or ailments or this, that, and the other, you have some ideas of, okay, I can't. But you got to start now. somewhere. Gotta, okay. And this is a good starting point. Okay. All right. We got that one out of the way. How about, uh, measure, uh, how about measure 91 allows possession, manufacture, sale of marijuana mm. by, yes. by two adults subject to state licensing, regulation, and taxation? Okay. Yeah. I think it should be. Oh, you say yes or no? Uh, uh, yes. Okay. Bob. I say no. 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 Oh, no. boy. We're going to come back to you. Yes. Uh, yes. Why are you saying no? Because uh, Washington is having a problem with uh, grade school kids using marijuana now. But it's here already. They're doing uh, it in Oregon too. Well, I mean, I mean, so just because you're, people want to kill themselves. I'm used this as people want to kill themselves, and therefore, but we made a law as to how it has to be done with dignity. Okay, we have one. And no. so, simply because somebody wants to, or we should allow them to, then don't talk about integration or anything else. Okay. Well, let's see the point. My position is this. When I look at all those folks down in Salem, okay, good point. I, I see some of them are down there for this business, and and nobody is helping them understand what is really going on. Okay, okay. See, and I look and I look across the country and see what is happening to Black Americans. I see a lot of us going to jail for the wrong reason. Okay, and I think somewhere along the line. We need to control it and regulate it. Well, you know, I guess one last comment. We talked about that the yeah. last last week between John and I. We said one of the things they did, they talked about the whole issue of incarceration for a lot of folks just for a joint or this, that, and the other, whether it be a year, whether it be a life or whatever, life in prison or whatever. Well, now since they're going to be doing this, if this passes and this passes, they ought to consider maybe doing an on-the-job training program while folks are incarcerated. I mean, you've got all the qualified folks there. They know how to sell it. They know how to make it. I mean, why not? I mean, because the bottom line is that once they get out, they're supposed to have a job. They're supposed to have a job. And that's a good start. What do you think about something like well, that? Well, let me ask you a question. Do you want to be on the plane with the high pilot? With the what? The high pilot. High pilot? What yeah. do you mean? I.e. the one that just got all, just had the joint in the break room. Well, they never said anything about allowing these sports to get stoned on. What them. do you mean allow? You yeah. don't allow grade school kids either. No, but it's I just mean, like alcohol, we Bob. Have they, they don't allow the pilot to be sitting up there drinking, drinking it's, whiskey But you can't fire him because it's, uh, his doctor recommended. What? What, booze? No, uh, the, the joint. The he's, joint. On, he's on cannabis because his doctor said it was good for him. Okay, well, he, he needed it for medical purposes. You said yes, though, Pastor. I said oh, no. I'm, no. I'm, just, <laughs> mm -mm. I'm just doing my thing. Okay, we got that one. Okay, we got that one. Measure 90. Oh, no, that's a good one. Change general election nomination processes. Provide for single primary ballot listing candidates. Top two advance. The top two. <laughs> now, the count. You know, we well, we didn't talk. Well, we talk. What what no, do you think about that, Cal? I think we are not. It, it should, should you, not. Yes or no? No. You said no on that one. Yeah. Then. Okay. All right. And I, because see, I've been dealing with what I call government sanctioned discrimination against Black America. Okay. Okay. So, and said. Well, blacks be voted if they. If they no, said, no, 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 no. have a chance. No, no, but no, but here's what I'm saying is that. Well, we have designed, when we look at all the laws in this, in, this, in this state or any other state, you see that there are governmental sanctioned discrimination, and, and, and it's affecting what we do to help our society. Okay, all right. But you said yes on that one. He said no. no. I said no. Okay, all right. No, Cal, no. Okay. Bob, what you say? No. Yes? No. <laughs> you said no. Okay. Jim, what do you think? No. And Jim, Jim, by the way, is he happens to be a candidate. He's running. He's running. He's running for Senate. Yeah, well, right. It would, it would eliminate him. Well, why'd you say yes. no? I just ask you. Well, I am a Constitution Party candidate. Right. Okay. And the way we have it now, at least I get to be heard at the, at the general election. Uh, if I'd had any money to have a voter's pamphlet statement, I would have had a voter's right. pamphlet statement. But I think it's important that that third party candidates be allowed to speak because at least we we we, we provide a, a protest vote. Um, I have absolutely no illusions that I'm going to win the election. But I did want to be able to uh, uh, speak, and, and I, I, the few people that let me speak to them, I spoke like to well, you. I get yep. to speak to your, yep. to your viewers. Right, right. Um, so uh, nobody would nobody listen to me if I wasn't on the ballot. So. Sounds well, good. Okay. So, let me add one so, other thing. Well, we got we to keep going. We no, but you, on this come back on the next one? No, on this issue. Real quick. Like, no, gotta, quick let's be quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, if you went to that, and if you lie, everybody to, to file during the primary election and ruin it, not because of parties, 
but because of being interested in the office. It may make a big difference, but we're not talking about that. We want to set up a two-party system, and only those individuals run, basically. See, see, but the system right now, we got several parties. No, no, yeah. that's, that's the point. We they want to eliminate them. everything except well, for the two parties. I know that, parties. but, but, but yeah. I, 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 we agree on that. Yeah, yeah we, we all agree. Okay. Okay. okay, okay. But I want, I want the people out there to understand too. Oh, they, they understand now, mm. especially now okay. with the Voters Digest. That's why we're doing the show. Okay, see, we, we're going. Move the agenda. Measure eighty nine. Amends Constitution. State political subdivisions shall not deny or abridge equality of rights on account of sex. Do we have enough stuff on the books now? Or do do we add this? What, what's the deal? Do we well, say yes or no? On I voted no because okay. I don't think it's necessary. Right. Yeah. I think we've got plenty of uh, oh. laws and interpretations of the Constitution that uh, there is equal treatment for uh, people of both sexes, and the way it's interpreted, uh, I think it's also for whatever sexual practices they want to engage mm -hmm. in. There's no there's no discrimination now. I don't think it's necessary to. You know, say again, you can't discriminate right. because there isn't there isn't any lawful discrimination now. Right. Real quick, no, yes, or uh, yes no, or no, yes or no. I said yes on that. You said yes on this one. You said yes okay. because there's discrimination against women. Yeah, but my point is that's already on the books. I mean, you know, if we continue, if we continue to divide this country based on race, creed, and color, and uh, now we're going to go with sexual or uh, sexual preference and and gender, mm -hmm. we're going to end up with a total mess in this country, he, more so than we have today. He might be, and he what might we be, need, he might be voting on you on these. Uh, well, old man, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but or maybe Tom out here. On, on get but the put thing, one on him for him. But the thing He's we always need, jumping we need to thing. do is instead of dividing, we need to bring people together. Yes, you okay. know, and give them, make them understand what's going on okay. now, versus totally dividing. Sounds good. Now here's a good one. Here's a biggie here. Provides Oregon resident driver card without requiring proof of legal presence in the United States. And all due respect, this is the, the illegal immigration piece. That, 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 that's really what we're talking about. Okay? Jim? Well, I voted against it. Okay. I don't think that we should be going off on our own in Oregon saying uh, people that are not lawfully documented can have driver's license. The the, the driver's license is now being used as identification for a lot of different things like getting on an airplane. And if we do this, I think that it's going to make it so that Oregon's and not, Oregon driver's license are not going to be accepted nationwide as, as proof that, uh, well, for one thing, you're a U.S. citizen, mm -hmm. as it is now. You can't get a driver's license in Oregon without uh, you know birth certificate or cert naturalization. Right, exactly. yeah. So I, I voted no. I, I want my driver's license to tell the world that I am a U.S. citizen. Mm -hmm. well, Bob, real quick. I say no because uh, my attitude is a simple one. You're either a citizen of this country or you're not. And there are certain criteria that you need to have papers documenting that you should be here. Mm. Yeah. What? So, yes or no? I voted yes because I wanted yes, to make yes uh, because I wanted to protect the Oregon people from people who are driving without acknowledgement that they have some some reason to drive. But but the bottom line is mm -hmm. are they illegal? We talking about we're not talking no, about no no, about no they didn't say about illegal people. What? Read that again. <laughs> no, no, you tell me. They didn't say nothing about citizens. No, wait, wait. Provides Oregon Provide resident driver to car to without requiring proof of legal presence in the United States. Okay, right. Okay. Yeah. The driver. Right. In fact, mm. the reason why I'm bringing that point, we're in that same age bracket. I'm going through that process right now from the standpoint of you. I had to go there and get my re-registered and get my Oregon driver's license. Mm. And you have to have legitimate legitimacy. You have to have that birth certificate, the whole nine yards. And then I got, I got it, I got it. And I think that's a good point. And well, hopefully we get that as soon as we possibly can. Yes. One thing I will say is that we need to, the laws we have, we need to enforce them. Right. Right, 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 right. I okay. will go along with that. Okay. But anyway, but no on 88. That's my vote, too. Okay, 87. Amends Constitution permits employment of state judges by National Guard, military service, and state public universities teaching. I'm going to go with Jim first because he, he happens to have a legal background. What do you think about something like that? I think this is a huge mistake. Okay. Uh, right now, we're, we pay our judges to a full-time job or wage for a full-time job. If they are allowed to go uh, do other work, really where it's been used more often than not is the uh, trying to be professors at uh, University of Oregon, Oregon State, P Portland State, uh, so that they can supplement their incomes. The, the problem uh, should be addressed by actually paying them a, a better wage than by letting them moonlight and do other work. They should be, looking, they should be devoting their, their professional skills and, and thought processes to their job. 
as a judge if they want to be a judge. Now it's elected position. They don't have to run for judge. So they know what the, they know what the salary is. So uh, you know, they have to make a decision. Do I want that salary or not? And if, if you know, and if, if they wanted to have a better salary as a judge, they should be lobbying uh, the legislature to improve the the wages for judges, which I would support. I don't think they're paid enough, but uh, I think they should be, be full time judges and not divert their attention. What to about it. the possibility of conflict of interest from the standpoint the military already has their their legal whatever makeup? Will they be allowed to also be a, to basically serve in that capacity? Well, as things stand right now, they can't. They can't uh, right, right. Right. They, they, they can't they, have another. They, they, they can't have another state CMA, job. Yes. They, they, they technically could be in the reserve, right. the army or the navy or the okay. air force reserve, okay. but they can't be in, in the national guard because that's another state job. Right. Right. Okay. Good. Okay. Sounds good. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Yes on that one. Yes. Okay. All right. I said no. You said no. There was no, no. Yes. Mm -hmm. Why you said yes? I th I believe that. Uh, you know, we hire, we hire, we uh, elect judges to do a full-time job, but that doesn't mean their entire life, all of their hours. No so that, so if they, if they decide they want to teach school at night, but you know, double dipping. is that double dipping? No, it's not double Do they dipping. They get two retirements. Uh, yeah, they should. They should be getting two if retirements. They get, if they, if, if they can, if, if you work two jobs, you can get two retirements. That's, that's the that's one of the rationale for for, for saying yes or no. Yeah. Saying no. Okay. Good point. All right. Measure 86, the men's constitution requires creation of fund for Oregonians pursuing post-secondary education, authorizes state indebtedness to finance fund. Cal. Someone with Cal. a PA, will someone with a PA read that? Cal, wait a minute. Cal, <laughs> tell me what Not does that mean, Cal? Cal? What does that mean, Cal? What does that mean, Cal? Well, see, the, the big issue oftentimes with a lot of opportunities that are created by laws is that we don't help the people understand what they really mean. Actually, like we was talking about early, about veteran benefit. A, a lot of people who are veterans don't know about all those benefits. Okay, okay, okay. So okay. I don't see... <laughs> Keep going, okay. Bob, talk to me. Uh, what do you say on that one? Yes or no? I'm going to have to research that one because it, it doesn't... It sounds like a good thing, but I'm sure that once I start researching it and, I w and it don't take long to research online, uh, I'll have a better answer than I I'm would right now. I'm going to penalize you on that because you should have researched it before you got here. <laughs> well, you had, how long did you, have you voted yet, Bob? No, I have not. Okay, good. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll excuse you then. But so I will, research it by 7 o'clock tonight, I will be, sounds, it will be, 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 Jim, we, 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 we. I voted against it. I don't think this is a, a wise choice. I mean, uh, it basically, it, it's a, another uh, lending or loan function uh, for the state government to citizens. I think we have problems with a higher education. It's too expensive. And uh, uh, I think that the, the better way to address it is to uh, reduce the cost of uh, Oregon tuition for Oregon uh, residents okay. uh, rather than th this this deal. Okay. Um, Something like California. Right. Hey, look, we got about 15 minutes at the most. We okay. got really good. So go. let's get right down. National, the national, now we're talking about Oregon now, the senatorial race. U.S. Mm. Senator vote for one, basically. We got we got uh, three three um, uh, top candidates here. We got Jeff Merkley. Okay, we've got we've got Monica Weeby and Jim, Lu Jim, Jim Lewenberger. Well, those, those, are the, those are the three top folks up there. Let, let's talk a little bit about that situation. I know, I know, I know. I realize Jim is kind of falling in, man, but the bottom line is that we got Monica and Jeff Merkley. What do you think about these guys? And, and this, this woman, they got a woman running. Okay, what do you think about that? Well, who are you going to vote for? I think uh, Jeff Merkley has served the people of Oregon well. What? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I I uh, I agree. Well, you said, ah, you hesitated there for a moment. No, I did not. You're next to Jim now? Then I, you, you go he kept kicking me. You hesitated there I, for a minute. He kicked oh, me. I, I was getting ready to respond okay, to the right, kick. All right, Going on, Jim. Going on, Jim. What do you, you say, Jim? I voted for myself. All right. And oh, happily. Oh. Okay. Good, 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 good. <laughs> well, you know, being the engagement chair of the Republican Party, I got I got to do Monica. You know what I'm saying? Monica's here, and Jim, you're my you're my second vote. You're my second choice. You know that. In fact, you're my top choice. <laughs> but, yeah, you're saying, move you're, move you're, anybody saying anything about that? Okay, no, go go move next. Agenda. All right, we got that deal right. So just in case, okay, U.S. Representative, third third district, vote for one. 
Okay, you got Jim Bu James, these are two names that I, I'm very familiar with, uh, uh, James Buchel and Earl Blumenauer. Well, Earl the Pearl is here. He's running? Earl the Pearl's running? Yeah. Uh -oh. And he, uh, he's, I like, I like Earl because he's, he's about something that's dear to my heart, and that's transportation. Transportation? Yeah. But what has he done in your community? Uh, has he done something for... He helped me, uh, well, when I was on the board of directors of TriMet, he helped me uh, with, uh, helped us with funding so that we could get light rail into uh, Clackamas County. Has he done wood uh, for, for the black community, uh, Cal? You, you basically represent... Uh, what black community? Cal, well, 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 not Cal, well, the well, Assembly I, of Black Affairs. Now, well, come on, now. Well, the, the, That's what he represents, right? No, well, uh, the Oregon Black Political Convention endorsed uh, Earl Blumenauer. So mm -hmm. what has he done for, for blacks? Well, he's been out there working for blacks. So what has he done for blacks? Okay, next. All right. He hasn't done anything. Okay, let's get down to the governor's race now. All right, we got a governor's race here. All right. We got now here. Here's some of the main ones here that are running. We got uh, the Republican Dennis Richardson. He's by the way, he's a, he's a military hero too. By the way, in fact, he should be wearing his his Vietnam hat. I think he does at, at times. He told me he did. So sometimes he said he, he couldn't have it. And then we've got um, uh, our present governor and coming up, John Kitzhopper. We got several others, but uh, in, in the other parties and whatever. But but those are the two main ones. The two main ones. Mm -hmm. uh, let's let's talk about that. Well, I voted for Dennis Richardson. Okay. Even though I'm a member of the Constitution Party, I normally would vote a Constitution Party candidate. I, I, I voted for uh, Dennis. Uh, I firmly believe he would be uh, an honest man. Uh, I, I, the Oregonian did a, an excellent article on him. Uh, he's not perfect, uh, but he doesn't claim to be perfect. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I, I, and I, and you have to, you, you have to look at who is he running against. And, and frankly, I think. Governor Kitzhaber has embarrassed the state and himself the way he's allowed his girlfriend to uh, influence him and influence the state uh, inappropriately. And um, uh, I don't think that would happen with Dennis Richardson. Okay. I think Dennis would, would be a straight shooter. Okay. Bob, what do you think? I uh, have supported uh, a Kitzhaber from the beginning, not only during this election, but the one previous and the two pre before that. Uh, he has proved. I think he's proven, uh, even as a state representative and senator, that he was. Uh, he's good for Oregon. He does good things, and I have yet to find in the people that I've talked to one person that said I went out and checked on my wife and found out what her entire background was before I married her. Okay. Did you check? No, I, I've 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 witnessed over the period of time in in the legislature as well what uh, Kitz Howard has done on some of the issues that... Uh, you guys endorsed that? The the, he he yeah. was endorsed. Okay. And, but I also know that he's been out there working on some of the issues that are affecting okay. black women. All right. Black All right. I, I voted also, too, for Dennis Richardson. Right up with right. He's a comrade. Uh, he's a Vietnam vet. I'm very familiar with his family, his family background. I did have a discussion with the chair of the Republican Party, Art, Art, uh, Art Richardson, in regards to... Uh, uh, Art Robinson, I'm sorry, uh, in regards to the, the statements that were made about him and re those three statements about sending Mexicans uh, mm -hmm. to, to China, if you will, and the whole issue of the, the abortion issue, whatever. And these were, if you notice the dates, they were back when in history when we were all having some major dinner. Listen to what I'm saying. This is my opinion, okay? Mm -hmm. So my point is that uh, he's got his own views now in regards to those situations. I think he would serve well, and he will have a first lady. I mean, uh, that, that's the thing that bothered me, I, uh, the fact that, <coughs> that Kitsapa was always it was being identified as his girlfriend as a first lady, and I thought that wasn't too cool. Well, that's uh, what people was, said. No, you but, never but, heard no, him say but, that, and I never heard no, him say that. No, the paper said it for him, and, and, uh, and like, like I was saying. But the fact of the matter is he didn't, he didn't <laughs> deny it. He didn't deny it. So, so, and see, no one talks about that. You know, Bob, now you've been here yeah. talking about the CRC and the $190 million to rip off all those cronies that were sitting up there taking all that money on Wait the CRC. You know and, and I never know. Said that. You never said that was okay. You you always felt concerned about well, that. The Columbia revolution. River crossing is what we're talking about. You know and I know that the head, the head people re involved in the Columbia River crossing was across the river. No, the governor we signed not, off on all that money. Hold it. That and $190 we, million. Hold dollars, hold the governor signed off for that deal. Now, that was a total $190 million. It didn't all come from Oregon. Do I? So... Uh, but who signed the check for the for Oregon Department of Transportation? The governor. Yes. Okay? He gives it to the Oregon Department of Transportation. We, you know, we, we had Tiffany. We had Tiffany. Uh, 
uh, over here on the show talking yeah, about I, all those I, folks. I deal with her every day. With Mark Kraft, you know, working for Earl Blumenauer at the time. He picked up a million bucks. I mean, we went on and on about this stuff. Yeah. So anyway, that's my You opinion. know, I... I Kids should leave out. He's been there, what, three times already? That's, yeah. that's 12 years. We need fresh blood. We got a person here with what good background. What does fresh blood that don't know anything no, uh, do anything. for Dennis has been an a active member of the, the uh, legislature for record? quite a long time. He's a, a successful uh, lawyer, and he was and a, a warrant man. officer in Vietnam. He flew helicopters in Vietnam. And that's that right. gives you... It, I mean, how's that, how you does like that Vietnam... Background? I'm just trying to figure uh, wait out how you talking about me. Wait a minute. Like, I was served. No, no you didn't serve in Vietnam. I served during the Vietnam crisis. Well, you in my, Vietnam. Check my uh, 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 DD uh, 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 214. Uh, uh, okay, watch that. But you didn't check in Vietnam. Were you in Vietnam? And so, so, but <laughs> going to Vietnam does not make you a good politician. Oh, my God. Well, see, the other thing that's All right. All right. Same, so let's stop that. Yeah, mm -hmm. and the other thing you have to say. Uh, are you willing to execute the laws that we have on the book? Or what not? Now? Are you willing? What to are you talking about? Now, what, what are you we're saying? talking about. You talking about governorship? Okay. Yeah. So, so, the, so the, what, the, what are we talking about? Bring those two candidates we're talking no, about. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm talking yeah. about the process right okay. now. Okay. Who, who's the, 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 the Oregon's uh, Constitution and Oregon laws will allow a person to have a a a hi hiatus, uh, a, a, a separation from the term from his first term to. The second term, okay. uh, two-year term, right. and, and that's part of the law. Okay. You saying the law should be, if you want to change the law, change we, the damn that's law. Right. Change the law, man. We, 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 that's another show. <laughs> <laughs> we, got, we got we got two minutes left, folks. Is, is there anything on your mind that you want to just say real quick, like bang, real quick? Well, I, I think it's important to, to vote. Good. Uh, Good point. I'd like everybody to vote if they know what they're voting. If you don't know what you're voting, you know, you don't don't mark that ballot. That's if you, right. I mean, but uh, but if you if you're informed on the governor's race, at least vote on the governor's race. If you're informed on the senate race, at least vote for that. Okay. Um, Bob, real quick, like, is something on your mind? Real quick. Uh, right yes, the it's process. time. It's time for us to all pick up our ballots and Good. send them in, Good. and not just to have 22 percent or 25 percent of the registered voters vote. Good. My, my point yeah. is, if you haven't voted yet, go and vote. And second thing, you got to deliver it down there now, there not try to mail it. You got right. to deliver it to that election right. official. Right. Right. Well, hey, folks, as you can see, and by the way, I've been knowing these guys for years. And they're very opinionated. That's why they're here. That's why I want them to. I wanted them to respond to what we're talking about. You can have the same discussion at home with your wife, your husband, uh, your relatives, uh, friends, neighbors, and the like. But get out and vote, folks. Take it out and vote, okay? We've done it today. In fact, uh, it repeats itself Tuesday, right before election. And so you can look at the show again. And if you want to kind of go over some of the notes that were made, Cal made some good points, Bob made some good points, and Jim also made some good points. And so with that, and I made some good points. And we're going to vote. I'm going to vote tonight. I am going to vote tonight. So get out and vote. We appreciate you being with us. Guys, thank you very, very much. Hey, appreciate enjoy that. It. Good you. job. Good job. Good job. You know what I call We're all Americans. Yeah. Oh, well, get, good job. <laughs> all right. All right. We're all Americans. I'll, I'll, I'll go by the hospital <laughs> and see him. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's all right. That's all right. We, 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 we old Corman, we will hang in there. And to John, who's sitting up there, he was waiting there for us for a minute. We want to thank him also, too, for being here with us. And again, he had a, we had a good show last week on that piece. Again, thanks very much, guys. Appreciate mm -hmm. it. Okay? That's good. Have a good one.